My name is Sammy Basu and I live in Los Angeles, California and I run my own cybersecurity consultancy. I've been in the industry for almost 15 years. I've worked for some pretty big name companies, Goldman Sachs, Warner Brothers, Pfizer, State Farm Insurance, and the video game company EA Sports. During my time at these companies, I have been fortunate to witness many cyber attacks up close. So my job at these companies were different based on the nature of the company. So for Goldman Sachs, my job was to defend high net worth clients who had their sensitive information as well as the huge amounts of financial assets that they had staked in the company. With State Farm Insurance, it was saving policyholders' information. With Warner Brothers, it was unreleased theatrical content. We had to fight tooth and nail with the hackers to prevent this information from being stolen. At EA Sports, it was a video game company. People are trying to hack video games all the time. So my job was to hack them before the hackers could hack them. I have hacked laptops for professional reasons, wherein I have exploited the vulnerabilities in that laptop. But mobile devices, I have hacked just for fun, to play pranks on family members, just to show them that they should probably secure their Bluetooth, because who knows, that ding can lead up to a bigger thing. Cybercrime has gone up 600% after the pandemic with people working remotely, using their own devices, uh, their own home networks. The cyber threat landscape has increased drastically after March of 2020. Hacking can happen because of two things. One is when you have an insecure device where you don't patch your software, and if you have insecure communication that can be hijacked by a man in the middle. Now, where is that man sitting? He can be in the cyber cafe, can be at the airport, he can be at the huge sold out stadium that you're going to, who knows? Hackers run hacking just like any businessman would run their business. They have a price tag on every information stolen. A date of birth, maybe $3. A social security number, $5. A credit card number, $7. Credit card with CVB number, $10. It's nothing personal for the hackers. They take this information and sell it to the black market and make a profit. Absolutely, yes. Especially if that consumer has access to other information through those electronic devices. For example, hackers like to take the path of list resistance. So if they're spending hours and hours trying to hack this secure bank and not getting any success, they would rather hack the insecure devices that the employee who has access to the bank and by hacking their credentials, automatically get access to this sensitive information. So yes, protect your devices. When you protect your devices, you protect your organization. Yes, I do. I've learned my lesson the hard way. I use eDeck products. I keep my phone in it. I keep my passport in it when I'm traveling. I keep my tablet devices. I love them because I've tested them and I've seen how secure it is.